Hello and welcome to Accelerate. I am Matt Stone. This is the podcast where we encourage and inspire CEOs, founders, and visionaries on their big leap journeys. We talk about the stories and strategies that will help you accelerate toward your big leap destination with purpose, humility, an open mind, commitment to growth, and recognition that the way we get there is at least as important as where we end up. And I'm so delighted that you've tuned in today. And it is Tuesday, October the 4th, and I'm back. <laughs> Had a great long weekend. Um, dear fam, my sister was in town came in Thursday night. Um, so we had a good full three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and she left on Monday morning and, um, boy, did we pack it in and, uh, just a couple of great lessons from that trip. Um, number one, I haven't been able to unplug from everything else in such a meaningful way in quite a long time. And, um, it really was apparent to me how powerful it is when you have someone you're close to and someone with whom you share an extremely good relationship and um, and a long history of familiarity and we just had so much fun. I mean, uh, there's so much background and context and things that don't need to be said uh, about preferences and, and things like that and it was just, uh, it made for quite a trip. So we knew the weather was gonna be bad on Saturday and Sunday, it was not looking good. And so Friday was kind of, it was cloudy, but it, there were hints of sunshine and, you know, it was dry for most of the day. So I looked at her and I said, are you ready to do a triathlon in this town? Because we can do a whole lot if we, if we really go for it. And she, I knew she'd be game because I know her. And so, so we headed out and I mean, we, we blazed, we blazed, New York, um, with speed and efficiency and fun and, um, ended up walking. I checked my app later. We walked now this isn't traveling. This is just, just the walking. Cause we took trains and ferries and everything else, but our walking distance was over 14 miles. Um, in gosh, a span of seven hours, maybe, um, but here was the thing that I think is a is the great topic for you know today. In addition to you know catching up here, is when you have a choice about whether or not to just do something. It is almost always the right answer to just do it, because you never know when that opportunity to go back and do it again is going to happen. And I'll give you an example. So we're out we're out on the town, and and uh, you know she's looking at some souvenirs, of course. And I see a store and she sees a store and we don't, we don't talk about it. We just, and then we're in, we're in the Times Square area and we've already gone a great distance. We've already been to Brooklyn. We've done all these other things. And, um, and I'm thinking we're going to be back on this area a lot, you know, uh, for other reasons. And so it wasn't urgent. And then my mind was thinking, no, we should go in that store and buy those souvenirs now. I didn't say anything. She says, Hey, can we go in that store? I said, yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. And, um, should we do it now? Or, you know, and we kind of talked about it for a second or should we wait and do it later? And every moment that we had like that, we always decided, yes, let's do it now. And, uh, it, there were no regrets about that. Not once did we say, ah, oh, gosh, we should have put that off and done it later because as it turned out, you know, we had a great day and, uh, ended up, I mean, we did Central Park, we did pizza, we did everything, Broadway show, the whole bit, uh, in one day. And it let the other two days be so relaxed. You know, it was kind of like exercising. We did our exercise and it was fun. And we just raced and enjoyed and took it all in. And then it didn't matter what happened, even if it rained solid the next two days, we still, you know, were, were great. And we had gotten the minimal shopping done. Turned out we did a lot more stuff the next couple of days. Um, but again, you know, I just keep thinking about there are very few times in my life when 
when I've had an opportunity to do something, it's kind of like, do you want to taste this now? Do you want to, you want to go check this out now? I can't think of hardly any situations in life, in business and non-business, when I thought, oh, I shouldn't have done that, so I should have just waited and done it later. Because so often, um, and I got to tell you, after that first day, there were really no other quick and easy souvenir. I mean, you know, we were doing some other different things and other types of shopping, but it would have been, we would have gone, had to gone out of our way to do that kind of shopping again. And I just kept thinking about how that applies to so many other areas where when the opportunity is in front of you, take it, just do it, do it now. Uh, because you just don't know, you don't know. And I'm sure there are some exceptions to this. Uh, but not many in my experience. So as we're navigating our weeks and our day-to-day, -day, think about the opportunity in front of you and take it. And I sure will because you never know when that opportunity is going to come around again, if at all. So if that's saying the nice thing to somebody in the office or, you know, finding that perfect, that perfect little thing that, that you could buy that wouldn't cost that much, but someone would really enjoy. You're like, yeah, well, I'll get it later. Don't get it later. Get it now. Thinking about a customer that you could reach out to, reach out today. It's a great day. It's Tuesday. It's the perfect day. So today is the perfect day to make it happen. So go make it happen. And I will be traveling uh, this week, going to a conference in Nashville, first time to Nashville. That'll be exciting, but I'll be out uh, Wednesday through Friday, and I'm still going to endeavor to join us on this podcast uh, each of those days. The audio quality may be a little bit different on Thursday and Friday, but we'll still try and uh, try and connect in and share some learnings, insights, stories, whatever we've got. So, in the meantime, the website for the podcast is mattstone.co, Twitter at mattstoneco, Instagram at mattstoneco, mattstoneco. So join us on those platforms and follow us there, and we will connect with you tomorrow. Thanks for listening, and as always, bye-bye for now. <laughs>